Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano of California is rattling again. A strong magnitude 4.1 and swarm hit east in Nevada. This is Long Valley Caldera. As you can see, it's steaming. And these are the areas of the quake swarms. That thing there is Mono Lake. This is a Long Valley 760,000 year ago super eruption. And this is a mantle plume that we saw that the eastern part heading towards Salt Lake City, Yellowstone, then uh, turning west towards Idaho. If you see the video before this one, we just had a magnitude 4.1 quake and a swarm west of Yellowstone. Their, their swarms are still going on now. And we still have on the western part of this mantle plume going through to the um, San Andreas and Walker Lane fault system. We've noticed that we've had a tremendous amount of quakes every day, hundreds of them, just east of the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano. And we'll take a look at the maps to see what's going on again today. Here we are at uh, our USGS quake map and, and the Sizewell Berkeley. This is the area that we're talking about. And having a quick look at the map, this is Baja California. The eastern branch of the mantle plume goes up this way through Salt Lake City up to Yellowstone and then goes right through uh, Craters of the Moon in Idaho. That imaginary seven that we saw there, that's the east branch of the magma, the mantle plume. The western branch goes under San Andreas Fault and also, which that, that takes up 75% of the subduction pressure of the Pacific Plate subducting under the North American Plate. And the Walker Lane Fault System, which has a series of high threat volcanoes, takes up the other 25% of the subduction pressure. This is the area of Long Valley Caldera. This is Ridgecrest. This is Salton Sea. All of these three areas have geothermal plants. Okay, now we're looking at this. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. The yellow is the past week earthquakes. Blue is the past day. And the red is the past hour. This is Mono Lake. These are uh, the Innu craters. This whole area here is Long Valley Caldera. Owens Valley. Now let's go into Long Valley Caldera. That's our map right there. Mono Lake, Innu craters, Mammoth Lakes. And here on the, the east part where we have the legend is where we have our quake swarm. In Nevada right there and uh, this area here are just here this is the area basically or a Bodu volcano this area here is the Nevada swarm that we're seeing that's Mono Lake right there Mono Lake right there this is the area of our quick swarm which one is that that's uh, Clayton Valley okay now zooming out again as you can see this whole area, this is a map of the Nevada volcanoes, major volcanic areas of Nevada. And this is our area of Salt Lake, Wyoming, that's the Yellowstone Lake right there, that blue thing. And this is Boise, Idaho, where we had our uh, another nine earthquake, uh, nine volcanoes. So basically this whole area here, like this, are full of volcanoes. And that's Wyoming, the supervolcano. And this thing here is the Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano. Now, volcanoes of Nevada, nine. As you can see, lunar crater, volcanism of covering over 300 square kilometers, cinder cones, lava flows, fissures, and most visibly 150 meter deep lunar crater. Soda lakes, two lake filled basaltic Mars, Soda Lake and Little Soda Lake. Steamboat Springs, volcanic field of rhyolitic lava domes, Timber Mountain volcanic field. So you can see that it's full of volcanoes. Now going back to our area here, hundreds of quakes again today. The blue, as we said, are the past day. The red are the past hour. Hundreds of quakes again today. Thousands this past week. Okay, that's it. That's the area of... The uh, area of, uh, okay, that's called Candelaria Hills, Coldale, Volcanic Hills, etc. 
this is the area and let's go into our 4.9 mono lake as you can see there okay now let's go into our shake map of the area and this is the shake map intensity and this is mono lake that we saw there and um, in your craters you can see the strong san andreas fault hayward fault meeting at the pinnacle selena's right there and the walker lane fault system a series of faults that act as one and that's mono lake of the long this is the whole thing of the long valley caldera super volcano now as you can see, if you extrapolate the lines, obviously mono, uh, the um, area of Long Valley Caldera has been shaken. Let's go to Long Valley Caldera again. It's uh, considered a high threat volcano, very high threat actually. Uh, the large 17 by 32 kilometer Long Valley Caldera east of central Sierra Nevada Range, California, is a result of a giant explosive eruption that happened about 760,000 years ago forming the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff, the caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquakes. From in deformation, then that is, it is inflating, meaning that there's more magma coming in. And um, uh, the formation of the caldera floor and earthquakes forms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles in order to better understand and monitor the caldera and possible further changes, USGS established the Long Valley Caldera Observatory. And the Bishop Tuff eruption and the formation of Long Valley Caldera, the erupt super eruption that took place 760,000 years ago, actively continued in the central part of the caldera to form the Lava Dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. Later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. The younger Inyo craters overlap the caldera on the northwest but are chemically technologically distinct from Long Valley magmatic system. And the Owen uh, Valley, Owens River Gorge, this is it right here, Owens Valley. That stretches all the way to Ridgecrest, right there. This, this is Ridgecrest, right? Owens Valley Ridgecrest. And as you can see, there's a lot of, uh, there's not that much intensity of uh, earthquakes, but we have had a 5.5 there recently, a few days ago. So uh, we do have a lot of magma activity under there. As we know, these are volcanoes, these are tectonic earthquakes. And um, all of you there, please be very careful we even have earthquakes, of course, around here, even though they're much smaller. But um, uh, be very aware of earthquakes in that area. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.